morning ladies and gents uh, today we're gonna go through a pre-flight um, as a student pilot this is one of the first things you're gonna learn how to do and get used to quickly because you're gonna have to do it every time you jump before you jump in an aircraft to fly it um, and today this is our aircraft that we're gonna be pre-flighting and doing a check list. Now this is probably the most important uh, part of your training you know because there's a saying that you you rather wish you rather be on the ground and wish you were in the air than wish than be in the air and wish you were on the ground so this is why pre-flight is important you gotta check everything make sure the airplane is good to fly uh, and then go have some fun so you probably won't be able to to get everything that I'm doing on camera because I have a my GoPro is mounted on my head. So but I'm gonna try as much as possible to uh, give you all the views I can. So this is the aircraft, and this is our checklist. I don't know if you're able to see that um, our pre-flight checklist. And the first thing usually what you do, like you get a folder like this. And what I do is I just I place everything in here. You open your canopy, and then you put the key. You it's got to be a, some way that you find the key. And the first thing I usually do, like right now, I prob I I've, I've gotten used to doing this so many times that I don't go through the the list. So uh, let's go through the list. So main docs check. This these are the documents they're asking you to check. Um, ignition key is off and it's mounted put away all electric is off as we can see here the only thing that you leave on is the strobe switch right here and you see it says leave on so that's always on um the seal the circuit breakers which again we went through just now these are the circuit breakers here and there and i would advise anyone to actually learn on a steam gauge instead of the more sophisticated g1000 as they say um, <clears throat> so we checked our uh, seal detector sorry that's a seal detector not O2 sensor uh, seal detector uh, now it says master switch battery on this is our master switch right here so we're gonna turn on the battery and basically that's just to check the uh, the um, the fuel the fuel level in the aircraft and I'm gonna try to again put the camera there. If you can see right here, I don't know if you can see my hand. So on the left tank we have 17 gallons, and on the right tank we have 13 gallons. Rule of thumb is if you have approximately 20 when you add the two to go, then you're good. Just for training purposes, you're good if it all adds up to 20. And right now we've got about 30 gallons all together, so we should be good to go. Uh, next thing on the list is to um, check the lights so here we're gonna turn the light all the lights on the landing light taxi and position like as it says on the list see and so I'm gonna just walk around quickly to check that landing light strobes and position and see they're good and I will do the same on the right side L and normally you're supposed to close that canopy when you walk away at least that's what you're advised to do um see strobes position lights all good here so i'm gonna go ahead now and turn the battery off because i think we're gonna that's that's all we need it for so we're gonna go ahead and turn the battery off we got our fuel co our quantity and we check the lights uh, let me turn the landing light off taxi off position off and then battery off and that's that so now we'll close the canopy and then we we'll start our main checklist check okay <clears throat> oh shoot sorry I missed something we gotta turn the battery on see this happens and I'm guilty of being a student so once your battery is on you want to put the uh, the flaps on takeoff so as you can see there and there take off it's it's dwindled down so now i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off bam 
okay and then we start on our left wing here <coughs> right so your landing gear and your struts these are your struts make sure that's good the brake line make sure it's there so that's this cable right here uh, <coughs> your wheel fairing this baby here check your tires the condition they're good sorry my phone is ringing I'm gonna have to call you back all right, all right bro. okay sorry about that interruption so you check your wheel fairing and you check the brake line and the struts and you check the tire condition as well and all looks good here um, and you check uh, what's the next step in uh, oh you check your steps right here that's that um, you want to check your uh, lower air intake uh, for s that's this right here make sure it's there make sure there's nothing blocking it um, XPDR antennas I believe that's that over there and that see this thing I'm looking at right there and I forgot to mention you whenever you're going through your checklist you need to grab one of this one of these because uh, to check your fuel sump so which is what we're gonna do right now fuel sump basically is you take a sample of the fuel from here and you do this on both wings and just take a little bit like that and what you're looking for is bubbles and the color blue if it's blue and pure then you're good which as you can see this looks pretty good and you just throw it out like that um, check your wing surface so what I usually do is just start from right here and just look through like that and I just use my hands also to go through all of this and while I'm doing that I'm checking the stall strips which is this one is right here and one is all the way at the end over there all that is good 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 I'm gonna try to move this as quickly as possible you want to check your tank <coughs> your tank filler which is this just open it make sure it's good you can see some gas some fuel in there make sure that's good also you want to check your fuel vents fuel vents is right beneath the tank fill it fuel vents are basically see this I don't know if you can see this but see these two tiny holes here just make sure they're there and there's nothing blocking it <laughs> okay uh, you want to check your pitot tube <laughs> pitot tube is this baby right here it has three holes in them make sure those holes are there and that they're clear so one hole right here one hole right here and one hole right there so that's good we're gonna move around uh, and here we're gonna check the ailerons ailerons basically you move them up and down as you can see if you can see in the uh, the control arms right there you see that they're moving and you also want to check the hinges here make sure it's it's connected and good which here it's that okay do the same thing for the flaps and you see someone just came in and it's quite noisy over here uh, I don't know if you can see the, the hinges here but that's fine now there's a little strip off here but uh, I think we should be good check the back canopy you know just open the door make sure that opens and it's good to close close it back you want to check the uh, the left fuselage which is basically all of this right here this whole mid body is called the fuselage and you want to check everything and before we actually go through the back you want to check your three antennas which is for your GPS I believe and one other thing so the two is up there if you can see that and then one is right beneath right here as you can see that um, now let's check the fuselage. But basically you're checking for cracks or anything like that, anything crazy. 
and right now it all looks good and right here is our stabilizer the stabilizers you have the horizontal and the vertical horizontal is this make sure you play around a little bit with it the hinges are good make sure nothing is off here and vertical move that about too see that it is good same thing on this side um, uh, and again this is the rudders if, you, if I didn't say that before these are your rudders you, basically you control them with the foot in the cabin um, and you want to check the uh, <clears throat> oh yeah I forgot the tie down which basically are on the ends of the wings uh, we don't we don't have any tie downs so that's why I didn't go through it we want to check if you had one you want to release it or whatnot um, and you want to check again the skin on this side make sure all is good and you want to check the skid pads here it's there it's good check 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 it's all good it's all good it's all good the windows are good here and again check the flaps check for those hinges make sure it's good and and tied down properly properly excuse me check your ailerons too here see that you can move them and you can see the control your gear stick in there moving so that's good check that hinge it's good um, and then check the wing surface here too which I've already done and check the wing tip it's all good on this side the stall strips again here and there it's there the tank filler check this side as well open all good some fuel in there close it back um, again you want to check for your fuel vents right there and right there they're good and they're clear and check the wheel fairing on this side as well good and intact your brake line make sure that's there your struts which is this right here is good now the fuel sump also for this tank again you just take a little sample of the fuel right here make sure there are no bubbles or create basically when it has a lot of bubbles it means that there's water in your fuel and that's not necessarily good it's clear blue raise it to the sun like that and uh, just toss it <coughs> check your steps here <coughs> which is also good it's there um, OAT posts I believe that's these I mean this right here I don't know if you can see that so make sure just make sure they're there your exhaust check that which is this pipe make sure that there are no cracks on it and last thing we're gonna go through is the cowling your cowling is basically the cover of your of your engine and the main thing you're checking for here is make sure the screws are properly in there if you see anything loose you want to use this to just like tie it down and what we're going to check also is our fuel, I mean our oil, the oil level, which is through here. Usually this thing is hot, but it's not a crazy hot day today. Now the fuel, you want to make sure, see it says right here, I mean the oil, you want to make sure it's between 4, 8 quarts or 6. So basically between 4 and 6. I would love to, but they, they're fixing it right now. They're fixing it right now. And it says we can't do touch and goes with this. Yeah, we can't do touch and goes with this. Which one. sucks. Because, uh, what is it, it's a new one? You, have you found this one? No, it's, it's my first time. Oh, we pulled it out of bracket, that's why. Oh, wow. What happened is we just got a brand new engine on this thing. Oh, cool. So we can't go, nah. like, that thing, that thing. So how long will it take to fix that? Mm -hmm. sick right now. Alright, I'm making a pre-flight tutorial. Ow! How to uh, pre-flight an airplane? Yeah.
And this thing is, I always forget to bring a napkin to, for this <laughs> crap. So it's super hot right now, as you can see that. Uh, so. Remember, when it's hot, it'll indicate a little low. Yeah. Yeah, so you, hear, you heard that from my instructor. Usually when the weather is hot, the oil level will indicate a little low. And right now it looks a little bit above six. It's actually between six and seven, uh, eight, about seven. Um, but I think that should be okay. I'm gonna check with the instructor first, make sure that's good to go. But yeah, you wanna check that again. The, the, uh, the efficient level of the oil should be between four and six, all right? And you wanna close that back. Okay. You want to check the air vents up here see this make sure it's clear and make sure that's clear check your propellers mm. actually first you want to check the surface make sure there are no crazy cracks or anything like that I usually just run my hands through them like this like this and like this there you go you can, you can spin it and move it a little bit if you need to so that's good. And check the the front wheel as well. Tire is good. Um, and then you want to check this venting pipes here, which is these two. Make sure they're there. Um, the gas collator. Again, there's a you gotta do another fuel sump right underneath. Again. Just, get a little sample raise it to the sky make sure it's blue and make sure there are no bubbles and this looks good toss it okay and I think that is the end of our pre-flight and as you can see I'm basically right where I started from so that's that's a proper uh, uh, checklist you, when you go all the way around and you end up where you started from so now I think we're good to go. We're just gonna go grab the the instructor and get in the air. Have fun flying. I will talk to you guys later. Hope uh, hope you learned something here. I know it's not all the way standard, but um, hope you learned something. And now I'll catch up with you. Later. Bye.